Throughout history, a mesmerizing artifact full of mysteries, the Ark of the Covenant. But did this legendary Ark really exist? If it did, where is it now? Today, I will be your guide as we explore how this enigmatic chest has traveled through history, its current whereabouts, and the secrets it holds. If you're ready, let's begin this historic adventure. Once upon a time, amidst the echoes of Mount Sinai, God bestowed sacred commands to Moses. These commands were the Ten Commandments, etched on stone tablets, and God commanded the construction of an ark to house these tablets. Thus, the Ark of the Covenant was born, made of acacia wood overlaid inside and out with pure gold, a symbol of God's presence. But this ark was no ordinary object. With the sacred tablets it harbored, it possessed a power so immense that any mortal who touched it would incur the wrath of God. This power was spoken of in whispers of fear and awe. One day the Israelites faced defeat in battle and the ark fell into the hands of their enemies. However, the foes were unaware of the holy power within the ark. It brought calamities and chaos to their lands, spreading diseases and disorder. Finally, in fear, they returned the Ark to the Israelites. The Ark was brought to Jerusalem, to the magnificent temple built by Solomon. There, in the holiest place, the Holy of Holies, it was kept. But over time, the temple was destroyed and the Ark mysteriously disappeared. After its disappearance, legends and tales about the Ark circulated from mouth to mouth. Some said it was hidden in the depths of Ethiopia, others claimed it vanished entirely from the earth. While the fate of the Ark remained unknown, the stories and legends about it continued to captivate human imagination. And thus, the Ark of the Covenant, with its holy yet terrifying nature, continues to hold its mystery in the misty pages of history. The fate of those who touched it, the legends surrounding it, and the mystery of its disappearance remain subjects of curiosity beyond time. The terrifying aspect of this arc is that ancient texts narrate how those who touched it somehow died or contracted illnesses. Therefore, in the Torah, God tells Moses that only the Levites from the line of Kohath can carry this ark, and they must do so in special garments. An intriguing scientific discussion arises in this context. The ark may not possess any religious power, nor any spiritual or metaphysical effect. Put those aside. But what's interesting is a certain situation. Listen carefully here. Gold is one of the best conductors of electricity, and the Ark of the Covenant is made of gold. Furthermore, in the Torah, it is commanded to make handles of acacia wood for carrying it. The way those carrying it should dress is also detailed. Wood, on the other hand, is not a conductor. This means that such an Ark under the desert sun will accumulate an electrical charge. It's a law of nature. Also, since it is carried with acacia wood handles, it might not discharge this electricity, meaning that anyone who touches the ark without protection could be electrocuted. In short, the design of the Ark of the Covenant must have been deliberately prepared by someone who understood it would accumulate electrical charge. Moreover, whoever this person was, they must have known that the handle is used to carry the ark, being made of acacia wood, a non-conductive material, would allow the electrical charge to build up in the ark and cause an instant shock to anyone who touched it carelessly. Additionally, if the ark were heavily charged with electricity, it would obviously spark, causing it to shine much more brightly than normal. And again, 
a gold arc charged with such static electricity would act as a lightning rod, attracting lightning to itself. The visual spectacle created would have a significant impact on people, making it unsurprising that they regarded the arc as sacred. At this point, another intriguing question comes to mind. Who, 3,000 or so years ago, could have known that gold had the ability to conduct electrical charge and how to utilize this property? The Israelites had spent many years in Egypt, and they constructed the Ark of the Covenant after leaving Egypt. Gold was considered sacred in Egyptian civilization and was used for various purposes. The Egyptians might have discovered gold's capacity to conduct electricity and use this knowledge in religious rituals to create various light displays and impress the populace. And it's likely that whoever made the Ark of the Covenant had learned this information during their time in Egypt. This is evident considering the knowledge required to construct the Ark. Moreover, when we look at ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, we see various chests strikingly similar to the Holy Ark of the Covenant being carried by attendants. The last known location of the Ark of the Covenant was Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem. But what happened next? Where is it now? What happened to it afterwards remains one of the great mysteries that has intrigued many throughout history. Here are some speculations and theories. The invasion of Jerusalem by King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon in 586 BC, which led to the destruction of Solomon's temple, is linked to the disappearance of the Ark. During this invasion, many sacred objects were looted or destroyed. Some sources suggest that sacred items, including the Ark, were secretly moved to a safe location before the temple's destruction. There are legends that the Ark was hidden in Ethiopia, Egypt, or even Europe. In particular, the city of Aksum in Ethiopia is known as one of the places believed to house the Ark. Why Ethiopia? The Torah, Bible, and Quran mention the communication between Prophet Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, known as Bilkis. According to ancient texts, Bilkis was an Ethiopian queen who bore a son. When this child grew up, he was summoned to Jerusalem by Prophet Solomon. It is written in ancient texts that he replaced the real Ark with a replica and brought the actual Ark back to Ethiopia. Another claim is the Tunnels of Jerusalem. There are speculations and theories suggesting that the Ark of the Covenant is hidden in the secret tunnels beneath Jerusalem. Underneath the city, there is a complex network of tunnels that have been used for various purposes throughout history. These tunnels may have served as shelters, storage areas, or escape routes in ancient times. Some theories propose that before the destruction of Solomon's temple, important religious artifacts, especially the Ark of the Covenant, were hidden in these tunnels. Another claim is that the Ark of the Covenant is in the city of Antioch. Today, Antioch is a city within the borders of Turkey, and it is mentioned several times in the Bible. Serving as a gateway between Jerusalem and the Anatolian geography, Antioch was one of the stops for the disciples of Prophet Jesus. Some Islamic Hadith sources suggest that the Ark will be brought out from here. However, similar Hadiths also narrate that it will be brought out from the bottom of the Sea of Galilee, near Israel. Some religious interpretations propose that the Ark was ascended to heaven and taken by God. This emphasizes both the sanctity of the Ark and the idea that it is not a worldly entity. The Ark of the Covenant continues to be one of the greatest mysteries of history. 
Whether its discovery, if ever it occurs, will astonish humanity or not, is something I cannot rightly say. And it is said that the original stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, along with personal belongings of prophets Jesus and Moses, will be found inside. What these items are, and whether they still reside within, remains unknown. Perhaps its secret will remain hidden forever, or maybe it is lurking in some forgotten corner or deep darkness. Who knows? If you found this video informative and intriguing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.